Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to Eclipse Reading as I promised on my message of the day. So I just wanted to briefly give you an astrological update and then I'm going to do sign-wise tarot reading for each sign. First of all, uh, to, the eclipse is already over today in the afternoon, finished time and I'm recording it in the evening because again I'm not very good with timings you most of my followers know that but luckily eclipse energy lasts for six months till next eclipse so it might be still a good idea to record these videos and upload them because it will guide you for next six months so this eclipse is a special one because it's happening uh, after 580 years this is uh, eclipse where the eclipse lasts for very long because the distance between earth and moon is way too much because of that the eclipse uh, time lasts for very long and it, and that's why it brings different kind of changes in different people's uh, life anyhow eclipse is a very uh, and this one is a full eclipse also so I've just noted the position of few prominent planets that are uh, playing an important role, of course. Sun, Moon, Rahu and Ketu, they play a very important role in any eclipse. But then uh, in today's eclipse, we have Venus, Jupiter and Saturn also making some kind of contribution based on what I have observed. Uh, I know there are different astrologers who would differ from me, but this is my interpretation. So what... I, uh, when I'm talking about astrology, I'm talking more about a generic view of how humans on a global level and institutions on global level would be acting and reacting because of this eclipse energy. So first of all, uh, it's a test for humans like each individual like you and me, uh, how perfect are we in controlling our senses? In, and how much are we running after our sensual pleasures and it could be anything don't judge yourself don't judge anyone for that matter and uh, I don't expect you to just uh, leave all your sensual pleasures for next six months I just want you to be aware of your sensual pleasures because uh, no one can stop them and it's stupid to stop them because it uh, it will mess up with your brain but then it says that you should be aware when to stop getting into sensual pleasure and when to continue with your sensual pleasure if you are aware of that it's good it's a kind of test of that so those who are able to stop their sensual pleasures at the right time, like do not overindulge into them, uh, Rahu is actually going to give them a lot of blessings to move forward in life. And that's where a lot of blessings are going to come in for individuals on a global level. And I'm seeing that people would lose trust on institutions and follow their own patterns. They will understand how their body is acting and reacting to various things and they will start following their own pattern rather than trusting uh, institutions like medical institutions and all those things who are putting you under a lot of medications, unnecessary things just to keep the money flowing and you would actually deal with that in a long run and you'll see that governments would find themselves a bit of struggling intergovernmental relations like one country's relationship with another it's it's already being observed uh, and it's going to be even more stressful in the next six months so uh, that won't be a surprise and uh, only thing that i'm scared about is that um, there could be a severe cold war kind of situation or even a war kind of situation but i don't see the actual war happening in next six months but people would be speculating worse during this time and on the other hand ketu is constantly reminding of the past like the past of first world war and uh, second world war and 
asking you to control your senses because anger is also a form of sensual expression and that's where government officials and the politicians need to control so the k2 is constantly reminding that don't indulge into the stupid sensual behavior and i don't know from where i have learned this word stupid i've been using that for last few weeks a lot i have noticed that so if it's annoying i'm sorry i somehow feel little annoyed because i don't like to use such words but i have picked it up from somewhere and i still can't figure out the source of that but anyhow uh, coming back to ketu what ketu is doing is trying to remind you of the past that past was horrible don't repeat that horror again and that's where you have to be careful venus on the other hand is bringing very good harmony uh, for relationships if you are into relationships suddenly you will recognize your partner as very charming very caring and you could see all the positive aspects it's not that they don't have negative aspects but the positive act aspects would be larger than life and you would be attracted towards that and that will end up resolving a lot of problems if you had some kind of stress in your relationship you will see that you and your partner are now suddenly seeing each other's positive sides and you are getting closer and closer and by the time the eclipse energy ends after 6 months you will realize that the negative things are very minor things and they don't even matter so that's a very good blessing on individual relationships but on a governmental level relationships are bad moving on to uh, jupiter and saturn jupiter and saturn had a very tricky role in last two years and with the corona and all those stuff they were quite influencer in the sky Uh, and many astrologers have spoken about that so i won't get into what they have been doing in the sky how they are influencing us but what i'm going to talk about is what they are going to do in future on one hand uh, saturn now is trying to move the consciousness beyond this time and space where there's a lot of suffering and there's a lot of pain and giving hopes to people to see things beyond here so a lot of extraterrestrial things may happen on a larger level which you and i may not notice very well but uh, there would be a larger energy shift on a global level where common people would be trying to move away from this crisis and they would try to forget and resolve things and move on with their lives but then always saturn and sun are in uh always a tight rift so uh, sun represents governments and uh, saturn represents common people common people want to move on but the governments is so rigid in their ego right now that would be a problem and that's where the tension would arrive that the governments would find themselves alone they would not find the support of their people governments would be like and to create a crisis you might see some governments doing some stupid things again i'm using stupid yeah some crazy things to uh, get attention from their uh, people and that's where they would indulge into tough fights with neighboring country so that they get some attention that they uh, and they divert the attention that they have neglected a lot many things within the country but now there is a time of crisis where they have to deal with in the country but everything would be created because of ego on the other hand jupiter uh, is <coughs> trying to set up an whole new pattern jupiter is going to say change signs day after tomorrow it, it would uh, move into aquarius it's already in aquarius from tropical zodiac but in sidereal zodiac it's going to move in aquarius and where it will start bringing a new conversation let's create a new world where we don't need lot of stress where we don't need lot of pressure and that's where saturn and jupiter would change 
the equation and try to uh, bring a new way of thinking where people are a little more comfortable about sharing things with each other and helping each other little more like if you see uh, pre uh, covid situation people were very uh, independent at least in bigger cities you would see that nobody would know their neighbors nobody want would stop for a minute to help someone on the uh, uh, sideway path or uh, on the subways people would be running after uh, god knows what they were crazy they were always late for something but suddenly now you would see a bigger shift that people are don't want to live that kind of life they don't want to be part of this rat race so that's the astrological update for next 6 months based on what i'm observing from the present eclipse chart and in future if there would be something else i would be very happy to update about that and also if you are listening to this line it's a test if you have survived till here do you want science specific uh detailed uh, tarot or astrological or both reading for jupiter moving to aquarius if you want that please leave a comment and if i get few uh comments then i would definitely do that but uh, do those readings but it would be little time from now a week from now it's actually moving on 21st of november but i'll uh, post them before the month end because uh, that transit lasts for one year so it's worth it if you are really interested in that then it will guide you for next one year thank you so much for watching this video and now you will have the tarot reading after this part thank you bye bye namaste hello everyone this is for libra I, so many thoughts were flowing into when i pulled these cards and they said me that you have made a mess in communicating that stop it start recording again so what i <laughs> the very first card when i pulled out five of pentacles the initial thought was that you are leaving your home and moving forward for something good and then they said that either you are leaving home or someone or you are imagining that someone is leaving you it can be for 10% of people who are imagining that someone is leaving you but what they are saying is that uh, you have been hoping for that exit and you have been hoping for that exit because you wanted to manifest something bigger in life and you were scared about that exit because leaving your home leaving your comfort space to get into a new place is scary and could break your heart if it doesn't work out so you were quite uh scared about that but then they are saying that these two cards here are saying that you will find someone you will find someone who is going to take care of everything for you if somebody is leaving you everything would be taken care by uh, another person who will walk into your life if you are leaving and going somewhere you will find someone who is going to take care of everything for you so work hard towards building new relationships when the old ones are going away because it will bring a lot of emotional satisfaction and emotional content for you that's what they are saying so you are in for something beautiful and hold on to that new relationship because that relationship is supposed to meant to stay in your life for very long you need to hold on to that relationship somewhere uh, in next 6 months you would uh, see that past energies people from past are coming back in your life and you feel like uh, can i also deal with them right now and start developing this relation new relationship here and hold on to this new relationship but still have connection with my past people from my past maybe you are not seriously getting to relationship relationship but you want to 
still nurture that contact and that's where either the person from the past will start creating trouble or this new person uh, would not appreciate that so be careful of indulging yourself in past connections because those are meant to be over because you actually wanted to escape that so you need to remember that all the time that you wanted to escape that thing because the painful time is over and that you why do you want to have connection with your pain that's what they're asking uh, then the seven of swords you are a little uh, too worried because if you don't have that uh, past connection these people from your past can create some kind of trouble for you so if you are in c contact with them you can always judge what are they up to and that's your reasoning for maintaining those connections and which are valid reasons for but then they are also disrupting your whole energy field that's what i'm seeing because the cards are suddenly getting very unruly and they're trying to jump don't worry about future possibilities what the people from your past can do and what uh, they will not do because everything is balanced out right now karmically everything is balanced out you don't have to worry much about it that's what they are saying couple of more cards and then we'll close the reading what the this tremendous fear about people a certain person from your past or a group of people from your past you have a lot of fear about those people and what the cards are suggesting that keep those fears locked up somewhere you don't have to deal with them as of now in next six months and slowly you'll see that the people from your past will move away they'll forget you and they'll move away because you are not on their side so it's uh, you are not any more a burden for them that's what they are saying so the idea was to pick only two cards and then this okay this is the last card now they say that you have moved away from your past you have found someone who's taking care of you but you still are lingering around with the people uh, from your past or you are trying to have connection with them to just to understand if they are planning something to harm you but then what they are saying is that if you try to connect with them they they would always remember you and they you will be always in their mind but if you stay away from them and you move away from them they will actually move away from you and that burden will be over and you will be able to start a new journey the fool is all about starting a new journey with a new companion see the fool is on the cliff want to start some venture out somewhere looking out for possibilities where the fool wants to go and then the companion is the dog and they are like dogs are your best friend isn't it so that's your reading thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye bye and namaste